I'd like to talk to you about our JD Edwards mobile applications for maintenance. Today we have mobile applications available for equipment, meter readings, work orders, service orders, time entry, and cases. These are native smartphone and tablet applications that require JD Edwards Apps Release 9.1. These native apps are available at no additional cost and are integrated with the mobile device features such as mapping, camera, GPS, voice to text, etc. In the first quarter of 2014, we released our first mobile applications. The ones indicated with a red arrow relate to maintenance, manage equipment, manage my work orders, quick case entry, and template meter reading. In April of 2014, we expanded our offering even more. The mobile maintenance apps in the first group with red arrows relate to capital asset management, create work order, equipment work order time entry, and review team work orders. The second group includes the case management mobile applications, and the last group includes the service management mobile applications. Let's take a look at the Create Work Order Tablet application. This mobile app will allow the technician to filter and view a list of work orders, create a new work order, enter notes, and attach photos. It will also allow the technician to update the status of the equipment that is associated with the equipment work order. When the technician first logs in, the list of work orders is shown in the left panel and the details for the selected work order is shown in the panel on the right. When reviewing an existing work order, the information is displayed in two tabs, Work Order Details and Notes. Not all of the fields available on an equipment work order are shown. The mobile application prevents a simplified view of pertinent information for the technician. As the technician selects different equipment work orders from the list on the left, the information on the right will reflect the work order he has selected. Photos attached to the work order can be accessed. Photos are available for the work order and for the equipment listed on the work order. The technician can search for a specific work order or a group of work orders by using the filter icon. To add a new work order, the plus icon is used, which is near the filter icon. This brings up a blank work order form with a handful of key fields, such as work order description, equipment, branch plant, failure description, customer, site, assigned to, supervisor, priority, and requested finish date. Once he touches in an inputable field, the tablet keyboard appears to facilitate data entry. He can also save and add photos. If the processing option is set to present the status update fields, a status update tab will appear where the status of the equipment can also be updated when the work order is created. Notes can also be entered in the Notes tab. This concludes our tour of the Create Work Order application.